everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to my video on which crystals and gemstones are good for grounding. Now it is important that we are grounded throughout our day. And when we are grounded, we have a really good connection to the earth where we feel stable, secure, and we are fully present in our bodies and fully present to our lives. And it makes things getting done in life a lot easier. So if you have tasks that you're working on or projects to do or things to get done, it's a lot easier to get it done when you're grounded. So I want to tell you a little bit about some symptoms if you are ungrounded. And these symptoms are good to pay attention to that if you start to have some of these symptoms, then you know, hmm, maybe you're not grounded and it's a good time to ground your energies in that moment. So you might have experienced some of these throughout your life. So one of the symptoms when we are ungrounded can be feeling lightheaded and dizzy and spacey. When we are ungrounded, we can be forgetful. We can misplace items. So maybe you have placed your keys somewhere and you're distracted because you're ungrounded and you think, where are my keys? And you're looking all over for them to realize that they are in your pocket. <laughs> so sometimes that can happen when we are ungrounded. We can misplace items. Also, when you're ungrounded, you might feel an energy drain, a sudden energy drain, or a wave of fatigue and tiredness come over you. That's another sign that you could be ungrounded. When we're ungrounded, we can be distracted and not present to what we're doing, and we can also then lose our focus and ability to concentrate. So if I give you an example, for instance, you could be having a conversation with somebody and then all of a sudden in mid-sentence you stop and you forget what it was that you were talking about. So that can happen if you're ungrounded. Also, if you're ungrounded, then it's easy to become clumsy, tripping over your feet, dropping things and breaking things, or bumping into objects or people. So like you're, you're distracted, plus you're also clumsy. So that's another sign of being ungrounded. And also, when you're ungrounded, sometimes it's easier to feel a sense of nervousness or anxiousness. And sometimes when we're ungrounded, we can get disoriented. So we get lost if we're trying to find an address and it could be somewhere that you've been before, yet for some reason you feel disoriented and you just can't find the place that you're going to, even if you're using a map or GPS. So that's another symptom of being ungrounded. So that gives you some ideas of what can show up when you are ungrounded. And when we're ungrounded, what happens is we're not fully present in our body, we're not fully connected to the earth, and all of that energy is backing up into our minds as well. So sometimes we can be into a mode where we're overanalyzing or overthinking things. And if we're getting caught up too much in our thoughts in that way, then we can also become ungrounded. So if you're doing a lot of intellectual work or maybe you're a student or working on a project and you are working on that for long periods of time without taking breaks or getting outside for a walk, then sometimes that can create um, ungroundedness as well. So it's always good that we balance our daily activities so that we have times for when we work and when we use our intellect and problem solving abilities and then times where we take time for rest or get out for some exercise and get some good grounding that way. So to ground our energies, if you are doing any kind of exercising, then that is really good because exercise helps you to be in your body, helps you to be present and can ground your energies. Even getting outside for a walk in nature can be very grounding. Eating good fresh food can also you know, be grounding as well as doing any kind of visualizations or guided meditations to ground your energy are also useful and crystals can be useful for grounding your energies as well. So I would like to show you some of my top picks of crystals that I really love for grounding my energy and that I use on a consistent basis when I feel ungrounded. So the first gemstone and crystal I'd like to show you is smoky quartz. So here's a really beautiful piece of light smoky quartz. Okay, there we have it. And I love how the light shines through this one as well. It's, it's very bright and it's also very grounding. So smoky quartz is really great. Now it doesn't matter if you use a point like this or also if you use a tumbled stone equally as effective. So I love smoky quartz for grounding. 
Another stone that I really like for grounding is black tourmaline. This is another beautiful crystal that I really love to use. I'm also wearing a bracelet of black tourmaline as well to keep my energy grounded throughout the day. Another gemstone I love is black obsidian. So this is a very beautiful grounding crystal as well, good for stability. Another one that is great is hematite. So hematite is a good grounding stone and I, I love the look of this one because hematite is kind of a smoky gray, silvery, shiny stone. So it's very beautiful. And black kyanite is another one. Now this one is not as common to find in crystal shops, either stores or online stores, but you can find it. It is becoming more available, a little bit harder to get. All the other gemstones that I've shown you are very easy to find in crystal shops as well as online stores for crystals. I want to show you also one last piece. This is another piece of obsidian, but this is a rough piece of obsidian. So. You can see it's polished, but not as polished as the other one. And here on the back, we have a rough piece here and a little bit of polish here. So I'll show you both of them. And you can see this one's highly polished, very black. This one is almost like a smoky black. And if I show you the other side again, you can see the difference. Okay, so I will work with either one of those stones, either the polished one or the rough piece of obsidian. So if you're feeling ungrounded, you can take any one of those grounding stones that I've just mentioned. So I'm just going to take my beautiful smoky quartz here. And what you can do is hold the stone. And it's always a good idea to speak an intention to the stone to help ground your energy. So you can close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. And exhale fully. And then just say to the stone, whichever stone you've chosen, Thank you so much for helping me to ground my energy, to be fully present in my body and fully present to my life. Thank you for helping me to connect to the earth energy so that I can be strong, grounded and stable. In full faith, so be it. So then you can take your gemstone now that you've said your intention. And I'm going to walk you through a little technique that you can use so that you can ground your energy. So you can just hold the stone. So even if it's a tumbled stone or, or a rough piece, you can hold it. If it's a point like this, you want to point it down towards the earth. So it's going to direct your energy down into the earth. So you can hold the point down. So just comfortably like so. Okay, so I'm going to hold the stone and I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to imagine that I'm connecting to the energy of the stone or I'm just going to feel that I'm connecting to the energy of the stone that I'm holding in my hands. And I'm going to take a few deep breaths in. So inhale deeply and exhale fully. And again, inhale deeply and exhale fully. And one more time, inhale deeply and exhale fully. So just imagine now that you are sending out roots from the soles of your feet. And just imagine now that these are roots of beautiful white light energy. And you're sending it out through the bottom of your feet, down into the surface of the earth, and down through the layers of the rock until it's deep into the earth. And as you breathe, just imagine that those roots are grounding you and stabilizing you. And as you breathe, imagine that any stress or tension is flowing out of your body. That stress and tension is flowing out of your mind, down through your body, down through your legs, going through those roots into the earth. And the earth is taking all of that stress and tension that you've been carrying. That can include emotional tension. That can include mental tension and physical tension. All stress is flowing out of your body, down through those roots into the earth, where the earth transmutes that stress energy into healing potential. 
and feel yourself becoming more relaxed and more stable and more grounded with each inhale and exhale that you take. So inhale deeply and exhale fully. Start to feel more calm and present within yourself and within your body and within your environment. Inhale one more time and exhale and bringing your awareness fully to yourself and to your environment and slowly opening your eyes. Great. So that is a really nice, simple grounding meditation that you can do throughout your day when you feel that you need it. Now, it's a good idea to carry one of the crystals or the gemstones in your pocket with you throughout the day to help maintain that connection to the earth and to help you to be grounded in the day. So what I personally like to do is I start my day with that grounding meditation. So I do that before I leave the house or even if I'm at home working on the computer, I'll do that in the morning to help me to be more clear and present in the work that I do. So I'll do that meditation first thing in the morning and I'll use a, a crystal and a gemstone. And usually I'll use one of the smaller ones, such as the hematite, because it's easier to then carry it in my pocket. So I'll use that stone for the grounding meditation. And then I will put the stone in my pocket and wear it on my body so that it's on my body and in my aura throughout the day to help me to be grounded. And if I have a really busy day or a stressful day, then I will take that stone out of my pocket and I will just do the grounding exercise again, just like I've shown you. And it doesn't take long to do, even just a couple of minutes is sufficient enough to ground your energy. And of course, you can make that grounding meditation longer if you like. So I'll just do that grounding meditation for a couple of minutes and then slip the stone back into my pocket and then I'm grounded and can continue with the rest of my day or whatever it is that I'm working on. Sometimes I like to do that grounding meditation at the end of the day before I go to bed. So again, if I've had a stressful day or a busy day and a lot has been going on, I will do that meditation right before bed and then I will place that stone underneath my pillow and then go to sleep at night so that I'm sleeping on the stone and the stone will help to keep me grounded while I sleep. And I find that when I do that, I can have a deeper sleep and a more restful sleep as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and the grounding technique. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Crystal Lynn, Crystal Healing therapist as well as teacher of crystal healing classes. If you would like more information on crystal healing, then please visit my Facebook page or my website, kristalin.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings to you and namaste.